Hey everybody, welcome to Kara's Cucina. I'm Kara DeFalco. Today I am showing you how to make mom's meatballs. Great food isn't just about good ingredients and knowing how to cook, it's about telling the story of the food. I'm gonna preface this entire recipe with, this is how my mother and my family make our meatballs. And if you've never made a meatball before in your life, this is a great place to start. But I would love to hear in the comments below how you guys make your meatballs, because I know people who have entire family competitions over which aunt makes the best meatball. So I know everybody's got their own way of doing this. But again, this is how my family makes them. This is how we like them. And it's, oh, again, a really great place to start if you're not familiar with how to make meatballs. So we're gonna start off with what we call here in Jersey and around the area, the meatball mix. So it's uh, one third ground beef, one third ground pork, pork, one third ground veal. And it's about a pound and a half all together. So to that, I'm going to add one egg. We've got some fresh chopped parsley. So we're also gonna add in some stuffing mix. And actually, believe it or not, so very specifically, you have to get the pe Pepperidge Farm stuffing mix in the blue container. And then we moisten it with a little bit of warm water. We don't want it to absorb too much of the other liquid uh, and the juices from the meat. We kind of want it to just soften everything. So we get all that in there. Okay. We've got some Parmesan cheese. And of course, a little salt and pepper. Now, you have to get your hands dirty to make meatballs, so we're just going to go right in here and start mixing this all together. So the funny story of the very first time I ever made meatballs, I was actually in college, and I was hanging out with a friend, and we decided that this was what we wanted for dinner, but neither one of us had ever made them on our own before, and my parents, I think, actually were away at the time, or for whatever reason, I couldn't grab my mom, so I was able to call my grandmother, and I remember asking her, you know, what exactly do you put in and how much? And her response was, when it smells right, then it's, that's the appropriate amount. So, I will give you guys actual amounts on CarrieDeFalco.com, but Nanny's rule of thumb was, when it smells right, that's how much you're looking for, just in case you really needed a more accurate measurement. We're gonna get this all mixed up, and I've got my marinara sauce here, ready to roll. You can also argue with me in the comments of whether or not it's sauce or gravy. I think you use them both interchangeably, to be very honest with you. Get this all mixed up. And what we like to do is actually just form the meatballs and put them directly into the warm sauce and let them simmer. Uh, and we let them simmer for about 45 minutes, 30 to 30, 40 minutes, uh, and that'll cook them through. Now, other people will fry their meatballs, other people will bake their meatballs. So again, if you have a way that you do this, certainly, you know, or a way that you remember your mother or your grandmother doing it, do it that way. This is our way and I just thought I'd share it with you guys. So these are ready to go. Got our sauce. Now, same thing when it comes to the size. My mother will actually now use an ice cream scoop so that they're all completely uniform. I'll still do it by hand. Uh, other people, you can make the little small ones. Uh, some people make really large meatballs. I like them a little smaller than a tennis ball. It's generally a good size for them. But what I love about these is once they're cooked, they come out nice and soft and full of flavor. So just grab off a little piece, create your meatball, and these are going right in. Serve your meatballs topped with some extra Parmesan cheese alongside your favorite pasta dish. The leftovers go great in a sandwich or really just all by themselves which is how I like to enjoy them. That is it for this week in the Cucina. Guys, you can get that written recipe at caradefalco.com. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon so you know when there's always a fresh recipe in the Cucina. And you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at caradefalco. I'll see you guys next time. Bon appetit.